DNA contains two strands of molecules called nucleotides. They range in this twisted spiral staircase called the double helix. Each nucleotide consists of three parts. A phosphate, a sugar molecule, and one of four bases. Adenine, A. Guanine, G. Cytosine, C. Or thymine, T. The sugar phosphate bonds form the structure of the molecule. Adenine bonds with thymine. Cytosine only bonds with guanine. Pairings are always the same, but the order of the pairs throughout the strand varies through different species. This shows how DNA is wrapped around so it may fit into a nucleus of each cell. The process starts when DNA is wrapped around a special protein called histones. The combined loop of DNA and proteins is called a nucleosome. Next, the nucleosomes are packaged into a thread and results in chromatin. This fiber is then coiled and looped again. This creates what is known as chromosomes. Chromosomes can be seen in dividing cells. They are mostly seen when cells must make a copy of each other and separate. The innermost workings how a simple code turns into flesh and blood starts with how DNA makes protein. It starts with the bundle of factors assembling at the start of a gene. This triggers the start of the process by reading off the information that is needed to make a gene. The gene is the length of the DNA stretching to the left. All the factors are now bundled. The blue molecule racing across is reading the gene. It unzips the double helix and copies one of the two strands. The yellow strand stringing in the back is a chemical cousin of the DNA called RNA. The building blocks to make RNA must go through an intake hole. They are matched to the DNA, letter by letter, with the A's, C's, G's, and P's of the G. In the RNA, it does not use thymine, so it is replaced with uracil. This process you are watching is called transcription. When the RNA strand is complete, it snakes away into the outer region of the cell. The ribosome attaches to the RNA strand to make a miniature factory. It translates the genetic information contained on the RNA strand into a string of amino acids to become a protein.
The green triangular bodies are transport bodies called tRNA that bring the amino acids to the ribosome. There are different transfer molecules for each 20 amino acids. They all carry a three-letter code read by the ribosome. Inside the ribosome, the RNA is pulled through like a printer. A code for each amino acid is read off, three letters at a time. They are matched to three corresponding letters on the transfer molecule. The red strand is a polypeptide chain. After a few seconds, the assembled protein starts to emerge. How DNA is actually copied in living cells. You are looking at an assembly line of miniature biochemical machines that are pulling apart the DNA double helix and cranking out a copy of each strand. The DNA to be copied enters from the bottom left. The whirling blue molecular machine is called helicase. It spins the DNA as fast as a jet engine as it unwinds the double helix into two strands. One strand is copied continuously, called the leading strand, and can be seen spooling off to the right. Things aren't so simple for the other strand, called the lagging strand, because it must be copied backwards. It is drawn out repeatedly in loops and copied one section at a time. These fragments are called Okazaki fragments. The end result is two new DNA molecules.